we got to have a conversation. There's really no easy way to do this. So I'm just going to talk straight. We've had some great years. Now, don't, this is not what you think, okay? Temporarily, I have to relocate you. Can you just for a second not like pose and model and now is just not the time to glamour me? Okay, um, now we're being a little rude. You know what the problem is? You're too damn perfect. You're too damn perfect. How often do you hear that? Do you have bitten nails? You don't even have a mouth. Oh, you're, you're out of here? So, no, it's just for maybe a session or two. I don't know. So, are we, are we good? Okay. Watch your step. Bathrooms. You know where the bathroom is. Awkward. I'm going to transform a bitten set of nails into something that looks natural and elegant. Hey guys. Let me see your hands. <laughs> this is the most like embarrassing thing. I was really excited until I remembered what was happening. What's going on? And then thousands of people are gonna see this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we can get back Hey, to they're gonna look stunning. Well, I'm not doing them, so they'll look okay. <laughs> You gonna take that, yeah. G? You gonna take that? <laughs> They're gonna look amazing. I believe it. All right, so um, what the hell are you doing here? I'm out the door. Can you leave? <laughs> go, go. Trying to escape.
Five years ago, Greg and I landed this huge account. Very exciting time for us. We felt like we kind of got to that next level with our company. We had just invested a lot of capital into brand new machinery so that we could fulfill these orders. And we were on a very tight schedule. We walked into the warehouse on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. and my warehouse manager walks right up to me. He says, everything is down. What do you mean everything is down? He says, nothing is working. And we've tried all of the steps to get it back up. Nothing is working. I step outside and throw the biggest tantrum that you could possibly imagine. Why is this happening? This is brand new machinery. I don't understand. It has to happen to us at this time, during the most important part of our careers, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I started spinning. So after about 15 to 20 minutes of that, I, I, I just kind of sat there and I asked myself a simple question. What are you gonna do? The situation is what it is. I can't make it just disappear just like that. This is the situation that's before me and my brother. We've got to deal with it. Standing out here and doing this is not helping anybody. I step back in there, I told my warehouse manager, get everybody ready. And he's looking at me like, get everybody ready. <laughs> I get on the phone, I call all these manufacturers on early Sunday morning, and I didn't give a shit. I was like, I gotta get this back up. Within about four hours, we had the line up and running. For me, it was a huge lesson in acceptance. I can't control certain things. I don't have control. The only thing I can do in that moment is accept the situation before me and take action. So the next time you get into that situation, for example, today, go ahead and throw your tantrum, go ahead and let it out, and then accept the reality that's facing you and take some action and go right through the problem. Can you just calm, where are you going? Please, just, can you put the phone down? You're calling your lawyer. 